data scientists use scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract knowledge and insights from data. In this video, we're going to help you answer the question, should you become a data scientist in 2020? We're going to go over the latest salaries, job market statistics, and the latest trends. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. If you end up enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. All the charts and graphs used in this video are available on my blog at www.careerwatch.co. Data scientists have a number of roles and responsibilities. They use techniques and theories from mathematics, statistics, computer science, and information science. Data scientists collect, clean, and validate large sets of structured and unstructured data. They regularly use algorithms and models for data mining. They interpret data sets to discover solutions and opportunities, and they write up reports to stakeholders. Regarding working as a data scientist, Antrios on Reddit has a really good post. So I am a computer engineer that wanted to do AI, so I went with a master's in data science and spent a long time on deep learning and other machine learning techniques. So basically you get a combination of computer science, software engineering, math, statistics, and machine learning. On a daily basis, you code, you do math, you build algorithms, you build models, fine tune models, visualize data, explore the data, and basically expose yourself to a large array of different subjects. Being a data science machine learning engineer is extremely nice for many reasons. One being that once you learn your tools, you can tackle any type of data. This includes sensor data, image data, audio data, sequential data, genetic data. Each time you learn more about other fields. Antrios recommends starting a free trial on Udacity and see if you like it. So this is a relatively new occupation. In fact, the Bureau of Labor Statistics only started surveying data scientists in 2019. So in 2019, the Bureau of Labor Statistics recorded the average base salary of data scientists at $100,560. This doesn't include overtime and other benefits. Usually in my videos, we look at the past 10 years or the past 20 years of wage statistics for different occupations, but this is the first year that the government surveyed this occupation. If you want to look at some individual case studies of, for data scientists, go to the website levels.fyi. They actually have salaries from big tech companies such as Google, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon. Just search for data scientist and you'll come up with not only base salaries, but also other benefits like signing bonuses and other incentives. For example, an L5 at Google would earn total compensation of around $220,000. So data scientists work all across the country and the government actually did report that there is quite a difference in pay among different states. Using the 2019 statistics, they found that the lowest paying state for data scientists is the state of Nebraska with an average base salary of around 55,000 and the highest paying state actually isn't California. They found that it was North Carolina for base salaries at around 125,000 per year. Other high paying states in 2019 include Ohio, Maryland, New Jersey, Washington, New Mexico, and California. So data scientists are not paid evenly. A starting salary for a data scientist would probably be around 53,000 per year. That would be the 10th percentile. Whereas the top 10% of data scientists start at around 158,000 and go up from there. So there is actually a $105,000 difference between the 10th and 90th percentile for data scientists. Another factor to consider regarding compensation is the work environment. Research and development tends to pay data scientists the most amount of money, with an, an average base salary of around 108, whereas higher education tends to pay data scientists the least amount of money. This would be colleges and universities. It seems like every occupation that I look at, higher education almost always tends to pay the least amount of money. So when comparing the base salaries of data scientists against other occupations, they are beat out by computer research scientists, um, information system managers, computer hardware engineers, and software developers. But data science definitely is a growing field, so this could change in the future. Speaking of jobs, what is the job market like for data scientists? Is this a growing field or is this a shrinking field? You've probably already seen a lot of news articles talking about how there's a massive shortage of data scientists. We'll get into that a little bit later in the video. In 2019, the Bureau of Labor Statistics recorded 30,810 employed data scientists. This is how they are dispersed across the United States. California has the greatest number of employed data scientists at around 5,000, followed by Illinois, Tennessee, New Mexico, and North Carolina. 
This is a very regional occupation. Data scientists can't just move to any state that they wish unless they're working 100% remote. Even the state of Texas, which has a lot of people, has very limited number of employed data scientists. When looking at the raw numbers, there are vastly less data scientists than software developers. There's a lot of boot camps out there that offer programs in both data science and software development. Just keep in mind that data science is a much smaller field than software development. There's around 30,000 employed data scientists, whereas there's around 1.4 million employed software developers. There's also more information systems managers and there's more computer hardware engineers than data scientists. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a shortage of data scientists, even though there's only around 30,000 employed data scientists, that doesn't mean that there isn't a shortage. I really like using indeed.com to determine how competitive an occupation is. I compare the number of job postings with the number of employed. And I found that there is about 4,400 job openings for data scientists where there's only about 30,000 employed data scientists. This means that in my opinion, there is a shortage. This means that there is one job opening on indeed.com versus seven employed data scientists. So in my opinion, anything under 10 means that there's a little bit of a shortage. The most extreme shortage I have seen is oral surgeons. There's actually one job posting on indeed.com per five oral surgeons. So because there's a shortage of data scientists, there's actually quite a few boot camps out there that teach people data science. The question is, can you become a data scientist by going to a boot camp? Mammogram has a post on this from Reddit. I have a bachelor's in chemistry and went to a data science boot camp in New York City last year. I had a generally positive experience and got a job four weeks after the boot camp ended. Before you decide to go to a boot camp, code, 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 teach yourself some code in your free time. I would recommend Python, but R is okay. Make sure you learn the basics of querying SQL databases too. You'll be doing this all day if you're a data scientist. Also do data analysis projects, pick a field you're interested in and use your new coding skills to answer some questions you have about it. This could include baseball, politics, and movies. Machine learning is sexy, but probably not the best use of your time right now. The basics are far more important landing your first data scientist job. Mammogram also says, don't believe anyone on here who says that only having a bachelor's degree precludes you from being a data scientist. It is certainly within your reach if you commit yourself. Do not think, however, that a 12 week Data science bootcamp will get you from zero to full-fledged data scientist. A bootcamp will provide you structure, dedicated time, and instruction on how to get there. After I looked at a number of job postings on Indeed for data scientists, keep in mind that many of the job postings require at least a bachelor's degree. This might be a very challenging occupation to go into if you don't have a bachelor's degree and you go directly into a bootcamp. So as you can see, there is pros and cons to becoming a data scientist in 2020. This is a growing field and it is a relatively new field that the government just really started surveying this occupation in 2019. Keep in mind at this point in time, there's only around 30,000 employed data scientists and they are in very specific states and metro areas, mostly in California. The average base salary is around 100,000, but at the big tech companies, they're gonna pay you a lot more money. Definitely go to levels.fyi or if you're interested in the total compensation, of data scientists at different companies. This is a vastly smaller field than software development, so it could be hard getting data science opportunities in smaller states and smaller metro areas. But there is a shortage going on right now. I did find that there is one job posting per seven employed data scientists. So this is a very hot field. A lot of people have a hard time determining whether they wanna become a software developer or data scientist. Definitely check out my video on software developers. I go over that occupation in detail. Are you a data scientist? What do you enjoy about this occupation? And what do you dislike about this occupation? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.